Hi! I was supposed to do part 2 of the Is BTS Bigger Than K-Pop video, but you wanted me to talk about this, so I'll do that next video. We'll talk about three things. The adoring new jeans, plagiarism accusation. Second is the letter that the parents of new jeans members sent to Bang Shi Yuk and Haib. And third, the response of Haib and Bang Shi Yuk to the letter. Okay, if you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification button and share the video. Also, follow me on Patreon and on X and Twitter and Instagram. All right, on to the video. Okay, the new single of New Jeans Bubblegum, not written by any of the member, is facing plagiarism allegations. A part of the song, about 30 to 40 seconds, is a transposed copy of another song released in 1982 titled Easier Said Than Done. Now, I'm not going to play the song here, but you can find the link to the original video in the description box, so just go there. The name of the channel is Lapalensit, or reference. And that's what they do. They will just look for songs that copied another song and they'll upload it. Now, there are, we can't judge yet, maybe Adore actually got permission from the original songwriters and maybe they will credit them. So we will know. Um, if they are in the album, much better. It means that has always been the plan. But because Bubblegum, the song of New Jeans, isn't yet in any of the streaming platforms, we don't know who are the credited songwriters. So we can't judge yet. But my bet is that they're just going to credit them because they can't not credit because it's just the exact same copy. So we're going to have to wait on that one. All right, next. Okay, day before yesterday, Ilgun Sports published a letter allegedly written by the parents of New Jeans sent to Haib and Bang Shi Yuk. Almost the same day, Haib responded saying that they got that letter April 3. They responded April 16 and we sent the response April 26 and that they had the read receipts. They also said that it was not written by the parents but by Min Hee Jin and Vice President L of Ador. One of the parents, almost the same day, gave Ilgan Sports an exclusive interview saying that it was indeed written by Min Hee Jin but it was based on a conversation Min Hee Jin had with New Jeans and the parents. Okay, so we're going to be discussing some of the points of the letter. If you want to read the entire letter, it's, should, it should be in the description box and also the response of Hybe. Okay, on to the first point. First issue, Bang shi -yuk does not respond to the members of New Jeans whenever they greet him. And other people are taking this to be a sign that Bang shi -yuk does not give New Jeans any kind of importance or he's, he's ignoring them. This actually could have been a teachable moment to the members of New Jeans. And for those of us who have the opportunity to be a part of the life of a young girl, I hope that when this happens to them, we can also take this as an opportunity to teach them something very important about their self-confidence, about their worth. I know that many of you actually already know this and maybe you can contribute to this. Um, I, I'm sure I'm going to be missing a lot of things. But first, there is an inconsistency between the letter and what the mother said, what, what the parents said in the interview. According to the letter, it happened multiple times. But according to the interview, one of the girls felt that she was ignored when she greeted him. Now, nevertheless, something like this could have easily been resolved. And as I've said, it could have been an opportunity for the girls to learn something about self-confidence, about how to look and treat other people. If the girls express this to Min Hee Jin or, and or their parents, then the adult should have, could have given three different options or all of it. First is that they, the girls should have just asked for a meeting with Bang Shiok and just express how they felt. Now, as I've said, hierarchy in Korea is such a big thing. So maybe they feel intimidated or scared even. So the parents, Min Hee Jin, the girls could have come together and asked for a meeting with Bang Shi Yuk. Maybe having their support system there will make the girls more confident, feel more secure that nothing is going to happen to them because the people that care for them are there. If I know that Min Hee Jin at some point said he's not talking, she's not talking with Bang Shi Yuk, then she could have, of course, through HR and CEO. But by law, Bang Shi Yuk is actually required to give them the time of day if there's a complaint like this. Third is that they could have made the girls realize that how a person responds to them is by and large out of their control. They behave respectfully and that's really all that matters. How the other person responds is 
shouldn't affect their mood, it shouldn't affect their confidence or their frame of mind. Never allow any person power over you. What other people do does not say anything about you, it says everything about them. And the girl should have understood that. The point is that they should have been that the girl should have been taught how to take control of their emotions and actions and not feel like victims. If you feel disrespected and you're too intimidated by the person who's disrespected you or snobbed you because as i've said hierarchy is such a big thing in korea then they should have looked for a way on how to work it out don't cower into a corner and feel like a big victim because that's not how you raise powerful and confident women you teach them how to take control you don't let them let things happen to them I, you, if you don't feel right about something, then you do something about it. You don't just stand and just in despair. <laughs> now, I know that there was no effort to try and talk with Bang Shiok about this. Otherwise, they would have mentioned it in the letter. There, It really was an opportunity to empower the girls. Instead, they made the girls, as it, it, it looks like, they made the girls and the parents feel like victims. Victims who live in a penthouse <laughs> and get paid $3.5 million a year <laughs> and is occupying the top floor, but victims nonetheless. <laughs> that kind of a victim. But yeah. Second, Bang Shio actually didn't recognize V for an entire year. And by that time, BTS was the only trainee that they had because they had to let go of everybody because they were going to go into bankruptcy. Still, Bang Shio didn't recognize V for an entire year. The man has the tendency to not recognize phases. But Still, new jeans might have 17 million monthly listeners on Spotify and they might have four entries to Billboard Hot 100, but Bang Shiok is managing a global company worth 134 million, expanding the business globally, managing a group that once contributed $4 billion in the economy of Korea, and seven soloists who seem to be addicted in releasing new materials because they have been releasing something new every week since they were <laughs> supposed to be in hiatus. The man has a lot on his mind. So the only way for you to know why he ignored you is for you to ask. But you didn't. And I understand that maybe they're intimidated, but they have adults with them. And that's why they're there to guide the girls. So the, the adult should have said, oh, I don't know why you were ignored. Let's go ask him. Then you would know. Bang Shiyuk is friendly with others like Lesser FM, I'll It, because he produces for them. But New Jeans is so, as far as we understand, they were, I, Ma, Mini Jin made sure that they're as, isolated from everybody else. And so, no, Bang Shiyuk is not familiar with them. Third is that with the ways stories are getting twisted right now, I think it's a good thing that Bang Shiyuk ignored them. Otherwise, the accusations would be very, very different had he been friendly with this young girl. So I think he dodged a bullet good job i i will actually respectfully advise him to just ignore everybody <laughs> you know, only talk to people if you have like 45 bodyguards with you and 45 monks and 45 members of the special forces <laughs> um but also and this is in all seriousness if you get to debut without debts and you get to enjoy and use the resources and networks that were set up and were acquired without you you had no input in all of that and you get to live in a penthouse designed by the best designers in korea and you get paid 3.5 million or on your first year of being an idol i think not being greeted by the chairman is a small trade-off and i know they're girls we should we're supposed to be compassionate and show them care and love and whatever but this is where you teach them right this is where they actually learn these things that you can't have everything and that's a small trade-off the chairman doesn't acknowledge you that's fine go on and do your job for as long as the people that you care with are there supporting you and that they care for you then that's all that matters a fifth is that th this is actually very common in korea those drama that you watch where the ceo actually passes by everybody bows and he doesn't really do anything that's actually that's that's just normal you don't expect the highest ranking official in a company to acknowledge anybody else but i know that they're young girls but they should learn that this is just part of it but as i've said i think the most important thing is that they this should have this should have been a teachable moment and but it didn't happen next is plagiarism the concepts of i'll it and new genes are different i discussed that in another video you will find the link to that in the description box if you want to watch now when you're working for a company, 
whatever you produce or make, the body of work, strategies, tactics, processes, that becomes the property of the company. Sure, in some contracts or cases, then the people who participated in the creation of it will have a share in the revenue, but ultimately, that becomes the property of the company. Now, she works for Hive. Now, she's complaining that New Je that B Lift Lab actually copied her way of launching New Jeans because New Jeans was invited by Chanel in the fashion week before their launch, before their debut. And Isle It was actually invited by Acme Studio in the fashion week before they debuted. Espa was actually the first one to be signed by a luxury brand before they debuted. They were signed by Givenchy. But you don't hear Yi Man complain. <laughs> He's not complaining about other people copying his strategy because that's just how it goes. A strategy, strategy is out there. It's going to be copied, replicated, improved by other people. She should just concentrate in building the brand of the girls. Because I'm saying individual, in the, in the, she should concentrate in improving the individual brands of the girls because they're signed under individual under different luxury brands i feel like by now minji the brand ambassador for chanel should have her own campaign already so let's get going now marketing strategies are non-proprietary so i can come up with my own strategy and then trademark it or copyright it so even if minhijin actually created her own marketing strategy she didn't but let's just assume she did Hybe owns it. So they have the right to let anybody use it. Okay. Now, she also complained about similar movements in the choreography of New Jeans and Isle It. They are not identical. There are moments when it looks similar, but not identical. Now, that's just how dance goes. Certain movements are taken, it gets evolved. Her own choreography also came from other choreographies and then it was evolved. It is down, in fact, her entire Y2K concept for New Jeans, that was a copy of Speed, a Japanese girl group. The music video attention was almost identical to the music video of, of, of uh, Speed, but it's just silly to be talking about it. Copying a song beat by beat, yeah, that's plagiarism. Getting someone else's poem and then putting your name, that's plagiarism. But having a similar concept is not plagiarism. Having similar details in your choreography, that's not plagiarism. Having the same hair color or whatever, that's not plagiarism. Hunger Games, the movie, was actually a ripoff of Battle Royale, a Japanese movie. movie. And Quentin Tarantino, another director, actually agrees with me. But you, we don't hear anything from, Hunger, from Battle Royale, even though they came first. Because Hunger Games made it different enough. That they were able to create their own market their own niche so the lesson is clear it is nobody's responsibility that you don't be caught that you that nobody copies you it is your own responsibility to make sure that you do something so well that anybody who tries to copy you will be nothing but that a copy and it has been done before elvis the beatles michael jackson bts there have been so many people who have been trying to copy them no one has succeeded because they did it so well you that's the kind of artistry that she should be aiming for make something make something so revolutionary so perfect amaze the world and let others eat your crumbs while you move on to the next thing don't bother yourself with what others are doing it's just silly new jeans was supposed to be the first girl group under hybe I think Hybe already addressed this, and Min Hee Jin actually did not refute the explanation. She, Min Hee Jin was supposed to launch the girl group under Source Music. Instead, she wanted her own label. She wanted to bring the girls over. She wanted several more years of training, and she was given all of that. On the other hand, Source Music had no trainees, no artists. They were going to continue accumulating debts. They couldn't allow that to happen. So was she expecting Source Music to just sit there and wait for her until she launches her group? But the thing is that it seems that that wasn't was what was communicated to the parents. It seems that the parents think that it was Hype's decision to bring the girls over to a door and train for this long. Still, I don't still understand what is the issue if they weren't the first girl group. It's the entertainment industry. Plans change all the time. Bang Chan trained for like 10 years before he debuted 
or nine or something like that. And Gio of Twice was supposed to debut three times. She didn't. Same thing happened to RM. <laughs> entire the entire concept of BTS actually changed. That's just how the business goes. That's just how K-pop goes. So I, what's the beef? I want to understand. They debuted without debts. They were able to use the contacts and networks of HYBE. They received as much training as they want. They get the top floor. They get paid immediately. They get all the marketing support that they want. So I don't... And she's so adamant that their brand is independent. So I don't understand why is it so important for her to get that, 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 that New Jeans is supposed to be the first girl group of HYBE. I just don't understand. I want to understand that part. Media and fans are comparing Isle It to New Jeans. Media will do anything that will get them clicks and paid. Fans will do anything that will piss off other fandoms. <laughs> That's just how the industry works. That makes it interesting. That makes it infuriating. That makes it entertaining. Even if two groups are so different, they're going to compare it just so they can get clicks, attention, and start fan wars. For example, people compare Twice with Blackpink. Those two groups are night and day, but they still compare them. No matter what you do, you cannot control what other people say. This should be, in fact, taken as a compliment. You are the bar. People are comparing other groups to you. Take that as a compliment. Your only job right now is to stay ahead so that you remain on top. Now, I know that Minhee Jin is aware that this is not really plagiarism. She's a smart woman. She wouldn't have gotten to where she is right now had she not known all of this. It's just, I think this is a part of a bigger battle, a bigger plan. I just wish that we see more legal grounds. Because right now, all of her arguments are actually emotional. They copied me. Uh, Bang Shi did not respond, respond to their greetings. They promised me that they were going, that New Jeans was going to be the first type group. All of those are emotional. Uh, but maybe she has some legal grounds. She's just probably keeping it close to her chest. I won't be surprised. It's just that... I, I'm very entertained and interested in corporate drama, but there are minors involved and for them, I want this to be over just for them for, for selfish reasons. I'd love, I, I'd love for it to drag on because I like corporate drama, but I don't feel good about anybody dragging minors in the game or young girls in the game. I feel like just like a married couple, if the both, if parents are now starting to live separate lives the one thing that should be on top of their list is to make sure that the girls will have will be taken care of so the only thing that the girls should be involved in the only thing they should learn about the only thing that they should be guaranteed of is that their interest will be taken care of that no matter what happens in this battle between Min Hee Jin and Hybe their welfare will be the center that 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 is uh, no one is going to compromise that, that they will be taken care of so so anybody who drags them in that i will not feel good about that so that's not right all right so at next week i'm going to continue talking about bts's um bigger than k-pop and then in between i'll be releasing some videos just to balance it out i hope that you watch um some of my other videos on asian history just interesting tidbits about Asian history and Asian culture and other Asian entertainers and artists. Okay, if you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and hit that notification button and share the video. Please follow me on Patreon. I do um, share other interesting items there, interesting videos and other information. Also, follow me on Twitter and X and on Instagram. Thanks!